well. American did cancel our flight, and so here we are at 2 a.m. for a little road trip. So we are sitting in the airport right now in Dallas, and we're about to head out to Miami. And after Miami, we're heading to Milan, Italy. It kind of took a while, like just getting into um, baggage claim and trying to drop stuff off. But I think Italy's gonna be so cool. That's definitely on my bucket list of places to go to. So um, I'm just so excited just to experience culture and, and, of course, just playing volleyball too. <laughs> oh my god, don't tell anyone, but I fell asleep the whole time. <laughs> We're not supposed to sleep until the flight tonight, but... I'll sleep, I'll sleep the whole way too. Don't worry. <laughs> awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin boarding flight 206 service to Milan, Italy. How are we feeling? Tired. Long day. Um, you gonna get a lot of rest on this flight? I hope so. What are you most excited for when we get there? Practice, of course. Looks like we're number eight for departure. We'd like to ask the flight attendants to please prepare for takeoff. Italian. I don't recognize any signs, that's for sure. There's McDonald's, yeah. Today we're going sightseeing and we're going to grab some lunch and then we're going to head back to our hotel and then we're going to play the Italian National B Team tonight. Alright, so we're here in Milan in the Galleria and there's a mosaic uh, bull on the floor and it's tradition to point your heel on the bull and turn three times and that's supposed to give you luck, so... I feel like new and re like rejuvenated. I don't have any more. Oh my god. Okay, so the castle we were just in was the place where they lived when Milan was in its dynasty, I think. And so we got to see like all where they used to live and it used to be gated off. It's so beautiful, all the architecture is so intricate and it's just crazy to think they did that like a lot by hand when they didn't have the same technology that we did. This one, this one looks good. So I got this flavor called Bossio and it's chocolate and hazelnut flavored gelato. Strawberry. Yum. Yeah, I'm getting gelato. Are you kidding? Maybe uh, pistachio, maybe some strawberry. <laughs> Sightseeing today was super fun. We all had a blast, but now it's time to switch gears and play some volleyball.
tired, but uh, the match went well. We played hard. Can't balance. <laughs> <laughs> Camera kept rolling, stats kept flowing. We good. This was it, yeah. This was what we wanted. We knew we were gonna play a good experienced team and they were gonna really push us and we got everything we wanted. Thoughts on the day? I think we played great for our first game in Italy. Um, it was super fun and we're ready for more. My grandpa named his dog after it, so I heard it's very pretty. <laughs> well, initially I thought we were swimming. It turns out we are not. She came out of the bathroom in her swimsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I was so excited, y'all. I think it's really cool that we can see like all the seaplanes flying around. The houses, they, they just they just seem like they have a lot of culture behind them. Everything is like old. Um, we have a super beautiful view right now, and yeah, we're getting ready to go up to the top of this village so that we can get really good pictures and the best view apparently. So, so we're waiting for the tram to come down and pick us up, to take us to the top of the village so we can see Lake Como better and get a pretty view. Hard to put into words. It's just really, really cool. Uh, we've done a lot of walking. Um, it's gorgeous here. We went up into the cathedral, which I loved. I thought it was amazing. Prettiest cathedral I've ever seen. And we're about to go meet the rest of the team to head back to the hotel. Oh, we ate the best pizza, and after that we went. I, we did a little shopping, and I got a cute painting from this guy that was painting on the sidewalk. This is it. Yeah, he's painting on the sidewalk with these like little brushes. I ate buffalo cheese pizza for lunch, and it was amazing. So we're headed home now um, after about three hours of uh, our own time, and we're going to play the Italian junior national team now. We're really excited, um, especially you get to play back-to-back -back days. It's a good team, they're big, so hopefully our experience is going to overpower their length. Venice and we get to spend like five hours like just walking around and that's the most ha free time we've had so we're really excited today. Hopefully I get a good seat because it's a long ride. I don't know I think it's gonna be fun uh, you know we haven't done something like this as a team before so I think this is kind of the highlight of the trip you know one of those iconic places that uh, you want to see and you see pictures of and you get to experience for yourself so. So we're on the 
train and we're on like the top level of the train so we get to see all the beautiful views of Italy and I'm so excited. It's gonna be so much fun. This is insane, like I can't believe we're here right now. This place is gorgeous. I see it all over the place like on TV and stuff and I just can't even believe I'm actually here. It's beautiful. I want to say the best part about Venice is just experiencing it. I didn't realize like what it actually was, if that makes sense. Like the buildings are so old, but everything's so beautiful. And honestly, it's not what I expected, but I think it exceeded my expectations. And so I think once we got out of the touristy part, it was really cool to see like that people actually live here and like what they do and the school kids running around. So I really enjoyed it. gigantic and there's a ton of people but it's really really cool now we are on our way to do a gondola ride I'm so excited we're just trying to find one today we walked to the square which is kind of difficult it took us a very long time but we found it it's really cool and pretty and a bunch of people, it's so crowded, but the buildings are so awesome. The culture is really busy down there, and everyone seems to enjoy themselves. Baby, when you smile, there's a rainbow in the sky. And I want to do myself, can we do it again? Can we heal our pain? Yeah. I want to go, want to go, want to go. We just need to play hard now and then do fun stuff later and then get focused again for our second game. Second one, two, one, two. That team was good, they were really scrappy. Oh, yeah, but I think that was the uh, best we've played this trip. I need a good adrenaline rush right now. Um, we're about to ride a gondola up the mountain and then ride a little sled down. I'm so excited, but I wish I was a little heavier because I won't go as fast. <laughs> Man, if I die, I hope I'm going to heaven at least. I might, I might pick up some speed. I might go a little fast. Set the course record. No brakes, all gas. I'm literally crying. <sighs> this is gonna be a good match. Physical team, some big bodies over there, good arms. It's gonna be fun. Let's freaking go! <laughs> Ready to go. Yeah.
Last game, yeah. We've had a great week. Love how we played yesterday, so we try to put together one more time. We played these guys before, but they have some new players, so we'll see what they got. place for beginners. <laughs> um, this is probably the most amazing thing I've ever seen. I've done the jumping on the Wii, so probably pretty similar, right? I, I would tumble down definitely, but I've never skied before. I want to though. I think I might wipe out a few times, but I could try. <laughs> Red, white, and blue, baby. I'm right, I'm pumped. That was a great game, so fun to watch. I've never been so inspired to play volleyball before. That was the coolest volleyball game I've ever been to. It's always lit. <laughs> what to do? Texas Tech! That was so great, she was sweaty, and it's great. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Today we are flying back to Lubbock. I'm super excited. I'm gonna miss Europe and everything, but I'm excited to get back home and just get back into our schedule. Okay. So we made a list of things that we miss from America. And so it's ice, water, air conditioning, bathroom, soft beds, big elevators. Yeah, I would say the elevator size is what really caught my attention. Wide buildings, open space, English, dollars, electrical plugs, boyfriends. Oh, the biggest difference, uh, probably that we had dessert after every single meal. Like, we really think that the meal's over and then they bring three more plates out. I could say I could go my whole life without using a day. Washing the toilet, shower curtains, bathtubs, clean clothes, having a closet. There were no washcloths. What was I supposed to do? Use my hands? Crispy bacon. Hotel floors being numbered correctly in X. Correctly made X. <laughs> it was just, it was, so, it was so different, different from anything I've ever seen. So it was, it was a lot of fun. I think I'm definitely just gonna miss being with my team every single day and hanging out with everyone and just experiencing the different culture here, but I'm excited to get back home. We are headed to London, and then from London we're gonna go to Dallas, and then from Dallas we go to Lubbock. 